Hello, Ksenia Mia Bregilovsky out of 106 Mont Calm Boulevard. It's uh, 22nd of April, 9.07 p.m. Uh, Saturday, I just uh, came back uh, home from grocery shopping and uh, household chores, so to speak. And I just wanted to document the uh, latest 24-hour developments. And uh, again, this is an outreach to international, uh, now international community, although... Uh, my state is grievous, and I recognize that uh, Canada and U.S. essentially I'm on uh, hostile service uh, soil right now, as it seems, because my um, existence is um, quickly deteriorating. Okay, so the 38 years that I've been in existence, my uh, survival existence, uh, the state of being is uh, uh, deteriorating. So just um, uh, a documentation of uh, the latest developments, okay? And wh when I say hostile so uh, soil that I'm on is uh, due to the, all the diversions that are um, sent my way, okay? So I leave at this uh, location for... I've lived at this location for the past 13 years, since 2010, okay? Oh, yeah, 13 years. Um... So I went grocery grocery shopping, and as I said, I'm trying to get my house renovated, um, get it to a normal state to live in, uh, although I don't have uh, resources. After 16 years in Canada, I don't have resources to do that. Uh, I don't have anything here. Um, so my mother was... Uh, um, infected with whatever, some sort of STD that she's now developed an autoimmune disease. She cannot take care of herself and uh, her now spouse is uh, also an invalid, really, uh, with the disability. Uh, most likely I have a disability too that no one is telling me about here in uh, Canada. Uh, healthcare services are lying to me. Most likely I have... Um, what's called COPD, um, obstructive pulmonary disease or something like that. So I have uh, some withing that, that I experience. And uh, in the past, I've been prescribed uh, corticosteroid inhalators. And uh, steroids um, did, not, did not do good to me. So... As you can imagine, um, I was always wired, and I, I don't believe that steroids actually did good to overall state of uh, uh, wellness. Um, my heart rate, uh, like heart palpitations, uh, high blood pressure. I don't know if the stroke that I had in what 2016, 2017 was uh, facilitated by the steroids. Um, or it was caused by steroids and lack of sleep. But overall, what I'm saying, again, the documentation of uh, me being manslaughtered, effectively manslaughtered here. So healthcare professionals are not disclosing uh, my state to me. Uh, and the way they're treating me actually aggravates my condition. Okay. So I just came, came in home. Uh, driving my car, Mazda CX-3 2016. When I left Walmart on a parking lot, I was surrounded by two cars, Lincoln Navigator, like a huge um, uh, SUV, uh, you, you can imagine, Lincoln Navigator, uh, with the tanned windows and the bulldog uh, at the rear window, okay? And a uh, neon green uh, Toyota Sport, okay? So the Lincoln Navigator in front and the Toyota Sport right there by the passenger window. When I came home, and this is not the first appearance, so the, one of the diversions, one of the series of diversions is to implant uh, bags into my car so that when I park it in the garage, I specifically park it in the garage so that it doesn't get vandalized as in the past. And when I say vandalized, like it's really vandalism when Chunks of car are being just teared off, uh, teared off the vehicle. 
uh, eggs are being thrown at the vehicle. And so, for the last few years, I have those remotely navigated uh, bugs that are being implanted everywhere surreptitiously, okay? So that I either uh, leave the premises, so to speak, move elsewhere, sell the house at a cheaper price, right? Or whatever, undervalue it, or spend money on exterminators who would uh, vandalize something else, you know? So that's, that's, uh, um, then the, you know, as simple as that, like uh, toggling for finicking with my gas meter so that the gas leaks, finicking with my, um, exhaust, gas exhaust vent so that it's not hermetically sealed and it leaks condensation. Um, like very surreptitious, um, Tiny things here in the diversions, um, acts of uh, uh, vandalism to property and my person uh, that I've experienced over the past 16 years uh, staying here in Canada. Although, as I said, I came here to work and to get myself, to provide for myself and be able to sort of enjoy my life, um, which is not the case. Okay. Instead, I've been just like, shoved into a garbage bin and constantly be pounded on the head with uh, diversions like that. So remotely manipulated bugs, uh, service contractors that come in to, um, it seems to repair one thing and to vandalize another so that I would get into this never ending chain and series of contractor and service and repairman, you know, going through and repairing this and that. Obviously, that all would come out of, out of uh, uh, the money that I earn in those ghetto work placements where I am um, humiliated, discriminated against, and I'm supposed to somehow be friendly and happy around others. I, like, I don't understand. My mother was uh, infected on purpose with uh, whatever she's infected with. And the authorities knew about that really well so that they know they would have a leverage against me and her. I have, I, I, I'm unemployed. And what, are you uh, suggesting me to go and uh, join your army to fight against terrorism or fight against this nation or that nation or to fight for my mother's name, in my mother's name? And No, you knew about that all. You closed your eyes, you actually facilitated the whole process. All you did was to ingratiate yourself and to diminish myself and her and everyone around. So like, I don't understand. We come here with desire to work. And you agree to this desire. This is why we come here, okay? So we come here to work. But then you like exact this uh, widespread uh, hatred and revenge so that we would quickly unload ourselves of properties and finances and get out of the country. Is that the... You should have never allowed us in then. Like, why? When I was in Uzbekistan, did I do anything against Canada and the United States? Did I do anything against Canada and the United States here? No. Why am I being there? Enemy, so to speak. So this Lincoln Navigator and the Toyota, whatever, new on Toyota, the idiots who parked those two cars by my side and whoever planted this remotely manipulated, remotely navigated bug that looks like whatever, crap, so that I don't know, infestation, like I would think that it is infestation in my house. Yeah, it's not hermetically sealed. There are cracks here and there, etc., etc. So you want me now to quickly repair it all and then you would do something else to kiss me out. You know that I am completely vulnerable. I don't have a country. I don't have a country. I don't have health. 
to fight you. I don't have resources to fight you. So you sit there now and you um, sell me bullshit products, expired goods. You create all these um, diversions and situations where I would have to uh, unload more and more money. Like, you don't allow me normal living. It is manslaughter in progress. Again, I repeat, it is manslaughter in progress. Number two, number three, number four, or whatever that I know of. Um, so again, this is a communication to international authorities. I have nowhere to go. I have no money to send for myself. I am alone. I'm sitting in this, <coughs> what was supposed to be a safe house, <coughs> surrounded by impersonator, imposter neighbors who fake it to live here. I have a hostile, completely hostile environment. I have a constant diversions against my person to create uh, un intolerable conditions of living. I have uh, deteriorating health as it was uh, vandalized uh, first in USSR slash Uzbekistan. Then it was uh, aggravated. The condition was uh, um, speedily aggravated here in Canada, and no one is telling me what is my condition actually and let alone the treatment uh, and so most likely it is called a disability here in canada okay so i'm 38 years old i'm being surrounded effectively i live in a jail that i am made to constantly uh, scrape and clean and seal etc etc by um, all these acts of humiliation Constant humiliation. And that's my state of being. Again, this is a 120th whatever a video communication. I don't have nowhere to go. I can book a flight ticket and then I would be, what, I would go to, I don't know, Switzerland, UN, and then uh, spend uh, 10, 12, 15, 20 thousand dollars to just communicate my issue outside of Canada. I repeat all of my communications. Bell Canada is completely manipulating everything. My uh, wi uh, Windows, uh, Bell, whatever. My online communications, phone communication, everything. I, I'm in effective jail. I'm in effective jail. For no reason and no sort of like legal repercussion against the ones who are terrorizing me like that. I'm 38 years old. I have no relatives that I can uh, go to and turn to for help. I have no funds to provide for myself. And all of my communications are being tampered like that. I'm constantly terrorized by impersonators, neighbors, neighbor impersonators, impersonating neighbors. Whenever I go to a store, my car gets vandalized or gets implanted with uh, bugs, etc. that I then have to hunt down with a vacuum around my um, house. It is no life. It is no life. Most likely, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've already reached out to lawyers. Uh, I have to repeat, my mother was infected on purpose. The Canadian and U.S. authorities knew about her uh, infection at uh, the point of us entering. They've allowed me living with her and her spouse. They closed their eyes and, uh, and surreptitiously uh, aggravated the condition of my marriage with the con congenitally ill individual just to spare anyone living and healthy. So my option was either to live with my mother and her spouse with the STD, right? Or with the congenitally ill radiated by Chernobyl individual for 16 years here in Canada. Tell me if it's not manslaughter. 